Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the Japanese campaign where I'm just going to be jumping straight into designing a destroyer. Um, a little bit irritated with the uh, the government for agreeing to a peace deal with the Soviet Union because the Soviet Union is still around so we're still going to have to deal with them. I've unlocked the Modern Destroyer 2, which is an absolutely dreadful hull, but I will try my best to build something on it. Uh, I'm going to do the same um, torpedo jank. Uh, means we get very, very ugly destroyers, but, oh, Jesus, 98%. This is never going to work. Not in a million years. Especially if I want twin fives. Oh, they don't even fit. Hmm. Tell you what, can we make like the ugliest destroyer in the world? <laughs> oh, that looks genuinely terrible. I think we're going to have to do something even worse. And just have four five inch guns deployed like so. That is that is god awful. I can actually fit another torpedo launcher in. <laughs> it's even worse. I hate it. But it could prove to be potentially useful. Um I mean I haven't put on lighter engines yet. I could also slow it down because I'm trying to make it go 38 knots. It's much more of a torpedo-based destroyer than I've been building before. Base, use, get plastics, hydro, TT3, got it too. Uh, enhanced, 21 inch standards, coincident sonar. Ooh. And a depth charge one. All right, armor. Uh, yes, there is going to be a pretense that this is armored. Uh, five inch thirty fives is fine, and uh, one hundred and thirteen percent overweight. <laughs> I'll. Yeah, thanks for beeping at me. Um, oh, I do say quite a lot going down to 35. I don't want to make go any slower than 35. Uh, we could drop drop the range. Um, is there a lighter tower? Yeah. Let's go with the modern tower one. Uh, lighter secondary tower went for this one. Uh, I need to save 16 tons. So, yeah, I think we could do it on towers. If we just go for a much simpler... A much simpler ship. I'm not a huge fan of these, to be honest. But they could potentially be useful. I mean, they are throwing out 12 torpedoes each. Um... And I never normally build torpedo-heavy cruisers, but it is very Japanese, and it definitely fits with this hull, which is just bad. I really don't like the, the gap-tooth destroyer hulls. Uh, Germany seems to like using them as well. I just find them really restrictive and awkward, but I guess we've got something that sort of kind of works. The Samidars... Um, all right, I'm going to save those. I'm going to head back to the ship screen and we're going to start building some. Okay, I'm just building six for now because uh, I'm I'm maxed on my ship building capacity. This is a restriction for Spain. It also means that I can't really do refits right now. Um, there is a German light cruise, a couple of German light cruises up here, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to engage them. I could try sending... The Kiso up there, and should have 
yeah, another light cruiser. Let's see if we can see if we can force them to battle. Um, so, given that refits are not going to be a thing, I think we should go. I think we should go hit the uh, hit the Germans where it hurts. So, I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm going to leave some ships at home, but uh, the battle squadron is going to head to Africa. Doop, 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 doop. I'm going to leave the cruisers. I'm going to take the. Uh, I'm going to take a destroyer. There we go. <laughs> right, off they go. Uh, let's see what happens. Right, uh, the battleships have arrived um, off the coast of Africa, and then we've begun an invasion of Tanganyika. Uh, it looks like some light cruisers have been sent to intercept, and uh, we get to see the Tosas, the Mikahos, and the Fusos in action. Uh, it's a little unfair, I will admit. It's a little, <laughs> just a teensy bit unfair to obliterate what are probably old protected cruisers but hey the Germans pissed me off uh, the cruiser that they did send um, has uh, died horribly um, it was well, not died horribly uh, th th that's a lie um, it has gone <laughs> uh, so a lot of the time uh, task forces do generate missions but then the the ships involved run away like, if I I sent my light cruisers after their light cruisers, and their light cruisers, you know, disappeared. Um, they ran off, basically, and didn't generate a battle. Uh, this happens a lot, and it all happens in the background. So it's pretty much invisible to the player. Um, which is why I reduced the, uh, the denial zone for ships. Because if ships aren't going to generate battles, then the last thing you want them doing is blocking your fleets. Cruisers trying to hide. Yeah, old protected cruisers. Pretty much what you'd expect to find hanging around uh, the coast of Africa, to be fair. Not expecting the Germans' latest and greatest ships by any means. approaching any closer than that, please. Thank you. That was Tosa. Killed the uh, invisible sea adler. And there we go. Nice try. I appreciate the effort. But, uh, yeah. Three light cruisers sent to the bottom. Excellent. 
two cormorans and a frown lobe class and as you can see here this one would technically be illegal but these ones would be fine so interesting stuff invasion let's go welcome back uh here's an interesting modern heavy cruiser 2 why do i keep unlocking the twos uh, no, you may not have one. I don't think we have any... I don't think we have any spare... No, we don't. So I have to come back to this one, but I do want to have a quick look at the hull. Because um, it might be worth worthwhile remembering that... Uh, yeah, I want to build it. Oh, it's just go experimental and then two. It's weird if it does... Uh, this looks pretty nice, actually. Yeah, because the... Ex we are building the... Ex are we building an experimental heavy? I can't remember if we are. I don't remember if we are, but I don't like it anyway. It's it's, it's garbage. This hole with the... It's fat and thick and... It looks like a destroyer. I, d I really don't like it. But this one, this one, definitely we will be building something on. Uh, what is the last heavy cruiser I had? Was it the the Nissins? Nissims? Nissins. There we go. Yeah, so our, our heavy cruisers are way out of date. I could have gone with this one. I just don't really don't like it. So, um, yeah, we'll go with this one. The modern heavy cruiser 2. I just need some capacity to actually build the things all right we have taken Tanganyika uh, that is uh, a little bit of a surprise to the Germans I'm sure um, uh, okay that's an ungoverned territory attack that's interesting uh, where central China yes finally good okay Exciting. Um, right, well, with Tanganyika taken, I guess the next thing to do is to hit Mozambique. Um, yep. <laughs> I, I was lucky, actually. The chance was relatively low because they've got three heavy cruisers and 14 destroyers sitting around, not doing anything. I'm guessing it's going to generate the mission here. But just in case it isn't, I have brought the battle cruisers down. And they're going to head down here. I am also losing money right now. But I'm kind of seeing that as the cost of building yet more ships. I think it's time to start rotating the reserve fleet out. And moving the 12-inch ships. Of which we have... Uh, well, quite a lot actually. Uh... So we've got the Kankos, obviously, but we've also got the Fusos and the Mikahos. Uh, all, all of these are going to be moved... Well, the Fusos and the Mikahos are going to move to reserve. And the Kankos are going to move to, like, deep reserve. I think we'll start... I think I'll sell the Soryu and the Kanran, but I'll keep the Kanko herself. It's kind of like a museum ship. Um, just kind of leave it, leave her in Tokyo or something. Right, uh, more invading. Okay, we have generated a mission. So the cruisers and destroyers that were sitting outside uh, Tanga were just doing exactly that. They were sitting outside Tanga. <laughs> um, and they generated a port strike. And of course, my fleet was just standing around with their thumb up their arse, not doing anything. Um, it's probably to do with the fact that the game likes to balance the total tonnage on both sides, which is kind of annoying. So I just moved the whole fleet into Tanga. This is why I often play with all of my ships in port, and I don't use task forces to generate battles. I just use them to invade. Uh, sure enough, move them into port, and then it will separate out your fleet so that you do actually generate a mission. Now, this is quite a difficult mission. This is a lot of destroyers uh, for two battleships to cope with. Uh, so I'm going to have to be very, very cautious here. I do 
do not want to get torpedoed. Thank you very much. So we're going to split up, first of all. You, I'd like you to follow the Mikaho. Um, I mean, we've got, we've got plenty of firepower. It's a case of getting that firepower on target, though. Very much a case of letting the enemy come to us as well. Do you have... You've got a Hydrophone 1. Ah, there they are. Maybe with the long range we get some hits. Uh, that's a curious design. Very curious. Yeah, let's start kiting away a little bit. Firing into the smoke screen will get us some hits. Have a look at these things. Six torpedoes. They don't look big, though. Oh, we hit one that was hiding. their torpedo range like oh actually pretty pretty good yeah we need to be cautious here ah already torps got a hit ah that one looks like it's tracking Move. Oh, it's a dud. Oh, no, the destroyer. They're murdering it. <laughs> the destroyers will get murdered very, very quick. Ooh. Just head away. Shame about the uh, Kishin army, but these things happen. Sort of gap. Not if the torpedoes do that, though. Fuck off. Okay, another one goes down. Doesn't look like they have loads of reloads or anything. Yeah. And yeah, this is very different to vanilla. <laughs> this this actually feels kind of dangerous. Oh, 
one sinks. Oh god. No, don't overturn. Just keep heading straight away. At least the destroyers die easily. Still risky business. Okay, V7 down. Oh god. <laughs> More of them. And one's homing in on me. feel like that one's following me, even though it's not. Uh, dud. Dud. Oof. Okay. Thank you to the German engineers who didn't put the uh, torpedoes together correctly. Still got the cruisers to worry about, but uh, yeah, that very aggressive push by the AI with its destroyers hasn't borne fruit, but it's certainly worried the crap out of me. Finish off that, destroy it. She still has some torpedoes. Nice. Sh no, it won't do it. Let's hit, hit them on the on the aft section of the ship. That wasn't right. Okay, good. Group back up. Let's take the fight to the heavy cruisers. They also have torpedoes. Well, the Lipper is very old. Sorry, it's a little bit more one. They do not have armor. It's going to be... Jesus, guys. It's one way to get into formation. Um... Oh, there's still a DD out there. There's something out there that just got absolutely smashed. Nope, it was a cruiser, the Admiral Hipper. Hiding. But uh, visible by dead reckoning. Switching targets. What's their torpedo range? Probably still decent. Nasty. Hipper taking a fairly big blow there. Ammo debt. Oh, savage. <laughs> High explosive shells just ripping them apart. Right, down goes the hipper. Lipper actually better armoured than the newest ships, which is quite funny. Oh, she had five torpedoes. Sneaky. Finish her. No, her. Jesus. There we go. 
That's 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 a lot of hurt. Sunk. Just the Prince Heinrich remains. Probably not for long. Ouch. Wow. Okay. And they go. Okay. I mean, I need a new pair of trousers after that, but... <laughs> Overall, the victory. It's a shame about losing the destroyer. Um, okay, what was our main gun actually? Like 20, 25%? Not too bad. Secondary guns. Wow. Uh, Kuo, much more accurate with her secondary guns. She had the smaller ones, the three inches. Interesting. Uh, damage dealt 34,000 with three inch guns. Yeah, seven inch guns do hit a lot harder. 158,000 damage. Oof. Yeah, I think the seven inch guns were really helpful in blowing up the destroyers. Um, yeah, <laughs> Kishinami just got shredded. The poor thing. Um, yeah, not too bad. That's a lot of DDs. Ooh, the 14-inch Mark III. Okay, yeah, I'm really, really wanting to get some refits done. Uh, no, I'm refusing all orders right now because I'm, I'm really, I'm already pushing the, what the fuck? <laughs> France, what did you do? I mean, they were at war with the United States. Um... We've taken Mozambique. <laughs> Colonial Conquest. Uh, Madagascar. Yeah, we're right there. Cool. It's so rare that the the game is convenient like that. Uh, what do you got there? Light Cruiser. Okay. Uh, send everything except one destroyer. Nope. Yeah, we'll go take. Uh, <laughs> we'll go take Madagascar. Sure. What the hell, France? I mean, again, they had lost northern France to Germany, uh, and somehow failed to take Spain. Spain is reforming. You do have this reforming mechanic, um, which means that it's not the end of the world if someone disappears. But the map is now looking very empty because. <laughs> Okay, they must have had really high unrest. But seriously, France? Oh my goodness. And this is after I toned down the uh, the transport loss uh, GDP hit. I might have to tone down all the GDP hits. Uh, I didn't tone down the blockade GDP hit. I'll maybe have a look at that too. Uh, and just have the increased victory point damage. Because... I do want countries to collapse, but it still seems to be having a little bit too much. Um, like, if they're losing, they should, but... Yeah, that's not intended. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but it's not intended. That also means that all this territory is up for grabs. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get some events to go and take this stuff. Uh... That would be uh, that would be very handy indeed. French Indochina would be a nice thing to grab, but I reckon the British will steal this. Um, yes. Okay. Let's see if we can take Madagascar. We've taken Mozambique though, which is nice. <laughs> Screw you, Germany. <laughs> okay, I have a mission for the the reserve fleet. Um. Developers, I know you're probably not watching this video, but uh, I know we've spoken at length about the map. And I know your opinion on it is that it is an, uh, it is an aesthetic feature, okay? 
I, I, I know that. I've heard. I've heard you. Here is my counterpoint. <laughs> the game has generated a conquest mission in New Caledonia, which is exactly on the fold. Exactly on the fold. Which means that from this side... Yeah, New Caledonia is here, right? So this is where it says New Caledonia and the invasion circle is actually on the fold of the map. So I'm actually having to interact with some sort of weird uh, shadow zone. Um, please, please, please. If the only thing you add to the game before you finish developing it is a wraparound map, please, for the love of God, <laughs> do that. Anyway, I'm going to send the reserve fleet to do that. Um, the Germans are attacking or trying to attack into Tanganyika, but because of the way the game works, uh, three-pronged attacks don't do anything. It's just you can defeat each of them individually. You can see here my uh, army is multiplied three times. Um so this isn't going to work. Uh, we should be able to take Madagascar. I'm then going to go around and take the Congo Free State. Um, because, actually, I might have the ships to do it already. Because uh, if we take the Congo Free State... Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, then, <laughs> technically, the German forces in Rhodesia and the Sailand and Rwanda... And Burundi, Burundi are um, going to be completely cut off. That also base <laughs> that's going to cause them a lot of problems. Although they could take things overland through the Middle Congo, so we'll have to take Gabon and Equatorial Guinea as well. But uh, that will mean that we basically obliterated the German Empire in terms of their colonial holdings. Obviously, they're doing quite well in Europe itself. Um, but this will, this will be totally isolated. We can look to try and take this in a peace deal. Or something. That's the plan. We have indeed taken Madagascar. Lovely. Uh, Italy's, Italy's on a rampage as well. Another thing with the collapsing, it does mean that as the campaign goes on, you effectively get, like, the end game bosses because <laughs> all the other countries get absorbed together. Which is kind of amusing. Right, I'm going to move the battle cruisers up here uh, and see if we can pull off a double invasion. Sometimes you can manage that. Um, I think, yeah, we have some capacity freed up because, yeah, Sagamis are nearly done. The uh, Karasawas are commissioning up. So that is really, really helpful. <clears throat> I want that new cruiser. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'll I'll uh, get some more of those uh, destroyers if I if I have some spare weight. So modern heavy cruiser two, the SMR. Sure, let's go for fifteen thousand tons even. That's still a pretty big ship. Uh, but this will be our first modern cruiser. That means that we can sell off the Nishins and the Azumas completely. Uh, we're going to have a lot of cruisers too. So I'm not too worried about building lots of these. Oh, it's got to be a Pagoda. I, I I know it's not the best option here. That the other two are... Well, actually they're not. They're just heavier. Yeah, we're going Pagoda. Damn it. Everybody loves the Cruiser Pagoda Tower. Uh, okay. Guns. Uh, let's see. We have Mark IVs all the way, right? No, we don't. Highest Mark IV is a 9-inch. So and I think a 9-inch gun would make the most sense. And let's try a triple. Um, it's going to make the old guard absolutely... Potty, but um, I think we can get away with 
triples for the first time ever. And nine inch guns. It's a, that's a nice compact superstructure. Very nice. Hopefully the boats will disappear in a minute. Secondary guns. Uh, no, it's not. Won't mount fours. It will mount threes, won't it? Yeah. Oh, it's threes and twos. Okay, let's just go all twos. Twos seem to be the new... The new secondary... Uh, thing. Since we started getting Pagoda Towers. Um, just singles. I think they look kind of fun. And they're perfectly fine for shooting up transports or discouraging destroyers. Uh, torpedoes. Now... I kind of like the fact that it's flush decked, but uh, we can mount underwaters, so it still has a torpedo threat. Um, speed Th 35. Bloody hell. That would be exceptional. Like, genuinely exceptional if we could manage 35. I'm prepared to cut it back quite. No, that's way too. Way too much. Wait a minute. 32 is 75%. 81. I think 32 is a good middle ground. It's the same speed as the Megamis. Um, I think that's fine for a cruiser. Okay. Oil. Gear turbine. We're going to have to have balanced boilers though to get it up to that speed. That saved a lot of weight. Uh... Oh, we could go turtle back. How much weight is that? Uh, it's not that much more than the uh, Citadel 3. So I have been adjusting these. Um, turtle back is now more of a upgrade from Citadel 3. Three. Uh, although I should fix that mine damage. Not that there are mines in the mod, so it doesn't matter too much. But it's more of a, a, a generational kind of upgrade. And then Citadel 5 is the best. Because um, one of the things I wanted to do was to make it, well, a fairer. <laughs> this doesn't have 15% resistance anymore. Uh, <laughs> but as well, I didn't want, like, if you're a new player, that Citadel 3 to 4 to 5 is not a smooth progression. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, so I, wa I wanted to uh, smooth that out a bit. But I, I will go in uh, and put the minus 10 mine, change that plus to a minus on the mine damage. Yeah, otherwise I think it looks about right. It's a little bit cheaper than uh, last time I said as well. Anyway, th th there's there's a lot more reasons to go. F Turtleback is yeah more of an evolutionary upgrade now. Um, got it two. I mean yes, I know that might not be historical, but yeah, not all the changes in the mod are to make things super historical. Most of them. <laughs> are in fact not to do that uh, they are to uh, make the game more fun and better balanced um, and they're doing anything that sense anyway uh, we're now up to 135 on armor quality which is nice uh, what do we need to protect against our own guns 9 inches of armor is probably a little bit much uh, six, 7 inch 7 Call it, call it eight. Call it eight, because we do have plenty of weight remaining somehow. This this hull is crazy. Um, nine inch, 40s, and three and 35s. Yeah, so eight inch should protect us down to about 5,000 meters, which is pretty good. These guns have got a much longer range than that. Uh, deck protection, yeah, if we go just go three and one and a half... That should be more than enough. Uh, 
protecting against HE. Uh, yeah, I think about three inch. Very similar to the battleship on the extended. Uh, on the ten inch should be fine to protect the turrets um, against pretty much anything. Uh, we now have uh, double layer decks and belts. Um, let's go for something like that. And we're at 85% displacement. That's a lot. That is an awful lot of displacement. Now I could, <coughs> of course I have maximum bulkheads, lots of range. But with this amount, I think we can actually make the ship more capable. So I'm going to move everything forward a bit. And let's back a bit so that I can get in another turret. Because that puts us at... 12 9 inch guns. 12 9 inch guns. That is a very dangerous ship going at 32 knots. Um, very dangerous indeed. And we could probably push the speed up if we wanted. But I'd rather push the protection up and the range up a little bit. Okay. How much can we get? 33. Yeah, 35 takes us way over. I, I'm going to stick with 32. Uh, yeah, 32, maximum bulkheads, enhanced range, standard crew quarters, and a little bit of spare displacement for refits and such. Um, but that, that is going to be so, so incredibly dangerous of a ship. For it, I'm building this quite early as well. <coughs> Also have an half weight offset. Should be able to fix, so let's uh move the tower forward. Uh, move this forward. Move these forward. Point one, point two, that's not that much of a difference, but the ship does look a little bit more balanced now. That that is I, okay, I really like this. That is a really nice looking uh, cruiser. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I, I do, I really like that. Hmm, yes. I'd love to build lots of these, but they're not cheap. Um, they're not as much of, as a battle cruiser by any means. Uh, you know, they're approaching the price of a Norikura. Um, but yeah, I think these things will do excellent work for us. Question is, how many can I get built? <laughs> I'd love to build lots and lots of them. But uh, yeah, the, prob the problem is Japan is your shipyard capacity doesn't go up with your conquests. Uh, so you're kind of limited. Right, we have... About a hundred thousand tons spare, don't we? Uh, two, two, nine, two, seventy-five minus one thirty-five divide. Wait, what? Two, two, nine, two, seventy-five minus one three five zero 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 divided by fifteen is that? Nope. Oh my god, I keep doing this wrong. It's because I don't have my actual calculator because my kids stole it. 135000 divide. I have to do this on a phone like a, some sort of peasant. Oh, I did it wrong again. Uh, why? If anyone knows of a good two line calculator app, please let me know. Divide by 15,000. Six. We can build six of them. Okay. Go. Uh, although once the cigar, uh, once these finish, we'll have we'll.
probably be able to order another six so we could have 12. Uh, I really want to go heavy on cruisers. I think they're a good option for us. Plus, we get loads of cruiser hulls, which is nice. And we can afford it. Hey. Okay. Um, right. That conquest is ongoing. Let's see if we can take some more territory off the Germans. Ooh, a distraction. <laughs> Taking the Ivory Coast. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, we actually need quite a lot for that. Let's move the battleships over there. Uh, battle cruisers, you continue on towards Congo Free State, which should, shouldn't be too too hard to take. Um, Naval Invade, Congo Free State, yes. All right, let's see how that goes. Is this one progressing? Yes, it is. Very nice. Scramble for Africa version two <laughs> continues. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. Soviets uh, coming back for more, are you? Uh, no. Uh, blah, blah. Bloody, bloody, blah. blah, blah. Uh, where is this? Where is that? Is that. Oh, I know where that is. I, I want that. I'm pretty sure that is French Indochina. Pretty sure. Um, yes. <laughs> it's going to have to wait. Because, uh, yeah, it is. Okay, I really want that. Do we have anything spare? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, oh, they're still commissioning up. Damn it. Uh, battle cruisers, go. <laughs> uh, the, uh, 27, 40, and 40... That's enough to get it going, at least. Um, the bastards in uh, in Russia are going to have to wait. I mean, we've got plenty of ships. They're going to start losing transports like crazy. Um, oh, I can afford that second flight of Asamas. Good. Well, I say afford. I can't afford it. I'm losing lots and lots of money. So the tech spending is going to have to get cut back again. Uh, I'm still losing money, but I'm doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I haven't been able to have a moment to, to reorganize the fleet because effing Soviets keep interfering. Anyway, um, c conquests. Okay, we've taken one. New Caledonia is ours. Uh, now I can retrieve my fleet from the uh, <laughs> the place that doesn't exist. Um, yeah, here we go. Do, do, do. This is why nobody likes playing Japan. Sorry, Japan. Uh, it's not your fault. And we can get them... Yeah, I'm just going to send them straight over here to help with this. Go, go, go. Uh, the battleships here should now be ready to go. Yes, they are. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, naval invasion here is at 79, and this one is at 100. So that's good. Uh, must be some... Yeah, there's a German squadron over here. It's quite a big fleet. Oh no, that's that's British. Well, what's interfering with this then? I mean, this West Africa Sea region is huge. Uh, there's like a cruiser here or something stupid like that. Anyway, invading, 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 invading. <laughs> okay, uh, we've gained control of the Congo Free State, which is awesome. Uh, various other things are going on. Uh, <laughs> Right, really want to finish the Germans off here, if we can. Oh, no, they do have uh, ships. Yeah, they've got a, quite a lot of ships over here, actually. Mind you, they've got a pretty big fleet. Um, but, uh, no, we're going to keep 
We're going to keep at them. We're going to take, what's the next smallest one? Equatorial Guinea. Let's move up on Bata. Uh, once we take uh, the Ivory Coast, then we'll be able to hit Gabon. And then once we get this out of the way, that's pretty much the Germans isolated. I'll be prepared to talk peace with them. This is now up to 67%, which isn't too bad. There's also a Russian cruiser floating around. Um, but the reserve fleet hasn't arrived yet, so that's fine. And, uh, yeah, keep on invading. Oh, I have a new destroyer. Uh, <laughs> distracted by the shiny. Uh, no, I'm refusing all orders just now. I need all of my capacity for myself. Uh, okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> sure. Things. Yeah, 40%. That's kind of kind of what I thought. Uh, but this will finish next month. Uh, do I have any spare capacity to build destroyers? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's get some more destroyers on the go. Hopefully it's a better hull than the modern 2, which I didn't like very much. Come on, give me something decent. Modern 3. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, this is much nicer. Much nicer. What's my maximum on destroyers? 2,400. Okay, cool. Uh, mm, I'd like... Ooh. Oh, it's one of these where I can put the, the, the tower down there. Let's, let's not do that, though. They do look a little silly. And I don't have to anymore because... Um... The... The mod balance makes balancing ships possible uh, without them looking super goofy. Wow, 38 knots. <laughs> that, that would make them uh, very, very fast. Uh, however, I definitely, definitely want uh, this to be more of a gun destroyer. So I'm going to go 5-inch guns super firing at the front. Secondary tower. I could use the Barbette tower. In fact, yeah, let's use the Barbette tower. Uh, um, probably just a single quad launcher. Because this is far more gun... Gun focused. Fit any secondary two inch guns in? Yeah, I can. Cool. Um... I mean, they're not going to do much, but why not? <laughs> uh, medium, medium, medium. Oil. Turbines. Electrider 2, that's new. Whoops. Capacitic 2. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this back on armor somehow. I'm just going to go with... There was an attempt uh, with the armor. Um, I know it makes them super vulnerable, but I don't really have much of an option. Okay, 100, 5%. 5% is doable. What happens if we cut back to 35 knots? Yep. That is very close and cramped. Yeah, done. Cool. So we've got the Samidars, which are the torpedo-focused ships. And we have the Okikazes, which are proper gunboats. All right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, right, let me go uh, calculate how many of these I can build. All right, I ordered 20 of them because we can just about fit them into the uh, into the building schedule. Uh, again, slamming the shipyards uh, and slamming my budget too. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. I still need to do this war. 
Uh, and I need ships. I desperately need ships. So yeah, the tech budget is going to go right, get paired right back. Uh, tech tech spending is so expensive. Um, yeah, doing all these invasions and things is, is very expensive. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going on with those and uh, see if we can tidy up this war with Germany. Okay, welcome back. We've got uh, the Ivory Coast. We've got uh, Indochina. Oh, the Dahomey. I I can't do. I can't attack Dahomey right now. The fleet is too busy because I've got three bloody naval invasions going on. One of which is being double uh, done by the uh, the battleships here because they're in both circles. Pro tip: if you couldn't fit two naval invasions where their circles overlap and you put your fleet inside the overlapping circles, you can progress both at once. But uh, then I got an event for Middle Congo, which I really want to take um, because this will totally block off uh, them attacking Congo and or the Congo Free State and allow us to basically squash the remaining Germans, I think. Um, uh, I would have liked Dahomey. I'm not going to lie. Uh, right. Indochina. Nice. Well, now all I need uh, them to do is to push from Saigon into Cambodia and Annam and Laos and uh, Tonkin and so that we can get all of this. Because that would be super nice. Also means that we are bracketing um... The British... Oh, of course! Fort Bayard is gone. <laughs> be amazing if we could get that. Also be amazing if these Soviet fleets would engage me, but again, the fleets engaging you uh, can be a little bit um, spotty. Should we put it that way? Uh, I'm going to put the... I'm going to put the battle cruisers into Busan. Uh, just to raid stuff going in and out of Vladivostok. We are trying to push on Russian Far East again, but oh, I don't think that's going to work. And I'm going to move the uh, reserve fleet back home. We might get some more naval invasions over here, but for now I, I kind of need to get them back and get the, the money under control. It is now positive, but yeah, that's, that's going to be temporary. I know it is. Um... Yeah, conquests. Ho oh, ho! So much for uh, so much for not generating missions. Yeah, come at me, Germany. This one is going to be for the next episode, though, because this is going to be a big one. Oh yes, it's going to be a really big one. What kind of ships are these? Six thirteen point three inch guns. Slow. Really slow. Okay, so we can ignore the battleships. We've seen their cruisers before. We know that they're not particularly well armoured. So, again, this is basically target number two because they do have some destroy uh, torpedoes. But, yeah, basically, pull away, blow up all of the destroyers and light cruisers, then blow up the heavy cruisers, and then move in on the battleships. That is the plan, but that will be for next time as the Tosas... Oh, we've got a mixture of 12s and uh, 14s here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a big one. Ooh, looking forward to it. See you soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.